Each of these plates contains 25 daily foods gyoza. The world record stands at 384 in 10 minutes. We are on pace to set a new world record. I would be mighty surprised if you didn't walk away with a magic 400. No question. Little Tokyo, are you ready? Eaters, are you ready? Yeah. Kristen Hayashi, are you ready? <laughs> Little Tokyo! In the time on a tradition! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's go! Joey Chestnut, showing why he is the number one ranked dealer, but Jeffrey Esper, and this has been a year of Esper, for those of you who have been paying attention to competitive meeting. The year of Esper in competitive eating, ladies and gentlemen, he's already got he appears to already have 40 down. Joey Chestnut work. I mean, Joey Chestnut is catching up. Joey Chestnut is not going to let Jeffrey Esper jump out of the blocks that quickly. But these two gentlemen, and it would appear Matt Stoney, Matt Stoney in third place at the moment. But Jeffrey Esper has already got 50 kilos down in less than a minute. He is on pace for 500 daily food kilos in 10 minutes. That is a mathematical fact, and it's a number that I never thought that I would say. I simply pray we have enough gyoza. First princess. We've got more. Okay, we're good. We're good. The wiggle. Who's on the wiggle from Matt Stoney? Matt Stoney is trying to use his oblique muscles to open up the largest stomach, the third stomach that Stoney commands. Darren Breeden has already got, it would appear, 65 down. Do not sleep on Darren Breeden. That would be my advice as we approach the two minute mark. Juan Rodriguez using a red colored beverage despite wearing white, but it is before Labor Day. So while it is a dangerous fashion faux pas, it is not technically a fashion faux pas. Vogue Magazine, if you are here, please double check that, please fact check that. I do not want the integrity of the sartorial nature of this event called into question. It's hard for me to comment at the front of the stage, but how are our friends? How are our friends from Ad Radio going, McCabe and Mr. Moot? I would say slowly, I would say at a recreational pace. I would say they're enjoying it as civilians. Of course, you can enjoy daily food gyoza in the comfort of your own home. All it takes is a quick trip to the grocery store transportation, a mode of cooking, perhaps a steamer or a flat top, and you can be in Flavor Town immediately. I want to check out Michelle, let's go. We're over a quarter of the way gone. Stoney's got 75 down. Stoney's got, more, Stoney's got 100 down. These are all unofficial counts at this stage, of course. Mickey Sudo, very fetching in those new earrings, I like them. But has she got the tenacity? Has she got the tenacity to hang with Matt Stoney, Joey Chestnut, and Jeff Esper in the middle of the table? Adrian Morgan, I see a gyoza down. Thank you very much, sir. A little over three minutes gone out here, contestants. You can see some varying techniques, but they all have a common theme. That theme at this stage. Juan Rodriguez, the personal trainer by trade, the eater by disposition, wheeling and rocking, using their, all that time in gymnasium. Fixing up his debris. All that time on the abdominal 3,000. Michelle Lesko twisting and turning, stopping the stage. Not so much in a fit of rage, but as a sign of determination for the Gyoza will conform to her will and not the other way around. Matt Stoney, working on, working on his debris. Very, very well. Mid bite, cutting down. As we approach four minutes, ladies and gentlemen. You can see the human struggle, the human struggle, apparent with every compression of the jaw, every bead of sweat, 
each and every bite of gyoza, let alone a plate of gyoza. Darren Green has 125 down over a little over four minutes. I'm not sure on Esper, I want to check in on Jeff Esper. He came out of the blocks early and he appears to have settled into a rhythm. He's a power lifter who can deadlift an economy or intermediate size sedan, a Toyota Corolla or a Nissan Maxima, for example. He is also a man who ate 83 slices of pizza in just 10 minutes this past April here in California. The theme of the technique appears to be put as many gyoza into one's mouth as well as all the jump, the jump. A dance move more commonly seen in Los Angeles finest nightclubs. That's five minutes, we are halfway, ladies and gentlemen. We are halfway. There is no point turning back now. If you didn't use the restroom before we left home, you're just gonna have to hang on. That's how it goes. A shout out to my homeboys and homegirls in the front stage. Shout out to the wolf, Derek Jacobs. El Wapo, El Wapo right there, all the way from Vesalia. The great Pablo Martinez. Eric Denmark from Scottsdale, formerly of Seattle, as they power on. But it's the top tier and the middle contestants in the top tier who won what matches will define the top placings here today. $6,000 on the line. That world record appears to very much be under threat here today. Joey Chestnut not pausing for a second as he moves between plates. He is settled into a rhythm. Normally Chestnut eats with a lot more violence, a lot more ferocity, a lot more jerky motion, but he is settled into a rhythm, and that is dangerous not only for the world record, but for his fellow contestants. When Chestnut is moving gracefully, one would say easily, it means that he is on today. Six minutes and 20 seconds down, three minutes and 40 seconds to go as we power through. That's another plate down for Esper. Esper, by far the cleanest eater here today. He will not let debris, he will not let debris get in the way of glory here today. But has he able to eat enough? As Breeden pulls on to the next plate. Mickey Sudo, enjoying what appears to be a watermelon iced tea. Delicious and refreshing, perhaps better enjoyed. Michelle, let's go. Clean up your debris. You're on debris nerves as of now. Let's go. As of now. Seven minutes gone. Three minutes to go. Little Tokyo, I cannot hear you. And for our Japanese speakers, I can't hear you. But in Japanese! He's slowly slowing down. He is Esper forging ahead of Chestnut. It appears to be neck and neck between these two gentlemen. Seven and a half gone, two and a half to go. Six thousand dollars on the line, ladies and gentlemen. But the money is not what's important here. It is the glory that comes with at least 12 months of walking the streets of Little Tokyo and beyond, proclaiming thyself the Gyoza in each of the world! There is no great runner on this planet. Fact! It's simply that he's a little queen, I mean no disrespect. Eight minutes gone! Two to go! Now is the time when dreams are made and realities are broken. Our contestants will have to reach deep inside themselves, deep inside themselves to ask, what are they made of? What is their moral fiber? Do they have what it takes to win? Do they wish it enough, Christina? Or will they meekly, will they meekly absolve themselves of their duty? One and a half minutes to go, 90 seconds. Little Tokyo, the more noise you make, the more they will eat. The mind starts playing tricks. The mind starts casting doubt. The body, the body wants to quit. But it's the human spirit, the soul of a man, the soul of a woman, that powers them on into the last bit of one minute to go! A little Tokyo! A little Tokyo! We 
we are witnessing history here today, ladies and gentlemen. I can feel it in my bones. I feel a world record being set. That is an unofficial time. We have the end of the contest. We have Kiko, our head judge, ready to pounce. 40 seconds to go, men and women. 40 seconds to go, brave men and women. I see Mr. Moon and Mr. McCain giving up before perhaps they had even tried, butting their heads on the ceiling of their own self worth before they had even succeeded. Congratulations. There you go. 20 seconds to go. Sarah Ryan, you powering yourself on. 15 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, help me count it down from 10, 9, I would ask for a round of applause for all of our contestants. I would invite our esteemed Daily Foods Nisei Wiki. A little bit of restaging. Adrian Morgan, I want you to report to the front of the stage. Fifth place, 205, ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 no. Six, 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 six. In fourth place, join Adrian Morgan on the stage with 222, Matt Stoney, ladies and gentlemen. In third place, with 200. And 32 gyoza from Daily Foods in just 10 minutes. Darren Breeden, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. TJ, let's pause the music right there. I want Jason Uno, I want the first place trophy, I want the Queen. Oh. I would ask you to join me at the front of the stage, Mr. Uno. I want Chestnut and I want Esper. Jason Uno is preparing the apparel only worn by the victor of the annual Daily Food Kyoza Eating Championship. You cannot buy, you cannot buy this fetching piece of apparel on Amazon or even Zappos.com. <laughs> <laughs> One of these men! Here's the thing, you guys can keep saying people's names, but it's not going to influence the truth. Because I know the truth. One of these men, a 297 daily foods gyoza in just 10 minutes. That person will finish second here today. Because our winner, a 357. Let me correct that. 359, Woo! which is two more. <laughs> See what I did? 0.72 percent. Your winner of the 2018 Daily Foods World Kyoza Eating Championship with 359 Daily Foods Kyoza in 10 minutes. It's Joey George Jeff! <laughs> 297 to Jeff Esper, ladies and gentlemen. Joey Chestnut, wear that robe and wear it proud for the next 12 months. 
297 for third for Espa. 359. DJ, play that next track as we ring these people out.